So somebody on Planet MU forum suggested that I, well, it was actually two people. I want to give a shout out to these two people because uh, one is from Planet MU forums and the other one is from GameFAQs GameSpot forums. And they both suggested that maybe we should uh, go replay, uh, replay some of the worst games um, of my era. Not my era, but some of the worst games I played as a child. And uh, many of you uh, will probably agree with this, but Astenix for the NES, which is what we're playing right in front of me, is probably the most mind frustratingly hard game I've ever like encountered. Like even as a kid, I could not beat this game for shit. And my friend literally had like a little arcade port of it. And I, I can't, no matter how hard I try, I cannot beat this game. I can't even beat the first level. It's so fucking difficult. And it's made by Nintendo of America, and you know they didn't make very many games besides Secret of Evermore and a few others. So, but let's hop into Astanix, Astanix, or whatever you want to call it. There will be a few other games for the NES that I will be playing today as well, because uh, I did have a lot of NES games played as a childhood at my friend's house. So, these are going to be the most um, difficult games I encountered as a kid. Either difficult because I don't know what's going on, or they're difficult because I really um, did not understand them as a kid. I might understand them now, but they're still so hard to play. Like, this game is extremely hard to play. Oh, yeah, I remember these motherfuckers. This game has the worst hit system ever. He, like, swings his axe, like, halfway. Enemies respond when you uh, enter off scheme. What what they do do, I, I do appreciate is that they give you a lot of life, the special power and all that shit. But I mean, you're gonna need it because this game is just it. It won't last for long. It really all these hearts. You think they'll they won't they won't last for long. Um, another thing about this game is that this game has a lot of like, like not jump scares, but it has a lot of enemies that just pop out of fucking absolute nowhere. Just like this guy right here. And are a little annoying to kill and then they respawn and if you don't kill them and try to run off screen they'll just follow you so god damn you see how much health i lost and this is another cheap area you want to stand close to this edge and kind of try to kill off this monster. Without dying yourself. Oh my god. Alrighty. These are some cheap jumps right here. This game is definitely a memory game. You have to know where every enemy is. You have to know how to place uh, attacks right. You gotta know when to attack. You gotta know who to attack, how to attack. Some enemies are harder to approach than others. Get the, the fuck out of here. Um, you can use abilities in this game by pressing up on a d-pad and B, which is the attack button. So we got a weapon upgrade. There are three weapon upgrades in this game. This one being the most um, useful one. I like to sometimes, uh, there's a weird glitch where if you hit, if you time your hits right, you can actually juggle the enemy in the air. Thank you. Okay, so you have the uh, ability uh, when you find these fairies to either change your spell 
Um, I mean, increase your spell or change your bash attack. What I like to do is go with the sword here. I don't really have much spell power. Son of a fucking gun. Got him. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that guy. So, yeah, it's going to want me to restart the level all over again. Alrighty, whatever. This will be the last playthrough of this. This game gives me nightmares just even thinking about playing this game for more than five minutes, which I know I've already accomplished. This game is all about precise button mashing. Something I don't really want to do because I get fucking calluses from pressing all these fucking buttons so many goddamn times. Ah, oh, fuck you. And your soul.